class, this is your instructor Megan, and in this video I want to talk about the objectives and expectations for your WordPress tutorial. So in this class you're going to be creating a simple WordPress site for your client, and that WordPress site is going to include a blog page. And so it's imperative that you become somewhat comfortable with WordPress. WordPress is a content management system that creates websites and allows you to manage the content on websites. You do have a reading this week about WordPress that you should complete before you begin the tutorial that will talk a little bit more about why WordPress is used to create websites when we're dealing with a lot of content. It will talk about the difference between the WordPress that we are using and the WordPress.com that you may have used in other classes. So take a look at that before we begin, but the objectives of this tutorial are for you to gain familiarity with the WordPress dashboard, which is how you control WordPress sites, and for you to gain an understanding of how content is managed on content management systems and how it's organized. So the tutorial is basically going to be you creating a portfolio website for yourself. Now, because it's a tutorial, um, and this is your first website, what I want you to do is follow along with me in these videos and the written instructions to create almost exactly the same portfolio that you see here, but you're going to use your own content. So where this tutorial example says first last name, you're obviously going to put your own name. Uh, down here where it says as a public relations student in a vigorous program I am, you're going to write your own little features here where it has your recent work, it's going to actually be your portfolio. Where there's tweets, it's going to be your tweets. Uh, follow me is going to be your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn if you have one. So you're going to recreate this site. It's going to look almost exactly like this, except it's going to be your actual portfolio with your information. So the about page is going to be about you. The resume page is going to be your actual resume. Portfolio is going to be your actual portfolio, and so on and so forth. So the expectation here is that you follow along with this tutorial, that you watch the videos, you complete the readings, and by the end of the lesson, you have an exact copy of what you see here, except with your own materials in it. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to reach out and ask them. It's very important actually that if you do have questions, you ask them so I know where I need to improve any of the instructions I've included or I know about any weaknesses in the tutorial. So if you are stuck, uh, let me know and I can point you in the right direction. I have listed a book on WordPress as a recommended reading in the syllabus. It's only uh, $4 if you buy a digital version that you can read on your computer. So I highly suggest too that if you start this tutorial and it's overwhelming and there's a lot going on, you download that book because it will walk you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to do a lot of the things you're seeing in this tutorial. That's everything I wanted to cover. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and get started with purchasing a domain name which should be yourname.com, and getting WordPress set up. And then from there, we'll start putting this site together.